everyone. I'm Sharon DeGiulio. Thanks for coming. Um, I am going to do a quick lesson on stamping your papers. Um, first, I'm going to show you how to make the stamps and then how to paint them and put them onto your papers. I've got a series of different kinds of papers here. Um, first of all, I have the Phenomenon paper that's a shell paper. Um, absolutely beautiful. This particular one is uh, painted with the red and it's got that shimmery look to it. And these under here are some that I've painted earlier um, with the uh, Matisse Australian colors. Now, um, I'm going to use the Speedball Speedy Cut. These are great. They're similar to linoleum, only you don't have to try so hard. They don't last as long because if you abuse them like I always do, um, they, uh, they kind of chip on the corners and things. But I still use them even if they're broken. I like the, that part of them. Um, here's a few that I've already cut in the past. Um, you can cut it negatively or positively. Uh, these particular ones are easier just to, to cut your line image as opposed to the uh, linoleum cuts. Um, so what you want to use is your speedball cutter. I use the V cut one or the V tool on here. Um, and you want to keep your other hand behind this knife because it is very sharp and it will cut you. So um, I always do these free forms. So I'm just going to start carving into here. Actually, let me go like this. Carve into here. And just medium pressure. You'll see how, how easy it is. It, it, they uh, carve like butter, they say. And again, keep your other hand out of the way as much as possible so you don't slip. But basically, you can just carve on the go whatever your fancy is. I'm going to just kind of make this one go around and around. Maybe I'll curve it a little bit like this. down over here and then just come up take these guys away and then you can just carve little images in here they don't have to mean anything they're just you're just carving and basically what you're going to do is um, add the paint to the surface of here and then your image will be transferred onto the paper I usually like to use a nice contrasting color um, so that it shows up nicely. Now I'm starting to curve here. It's kind of fun. <laughs> Just playing, having a good time. But see how easy these are to cut? You're not like killing yourself trying to do those. And again, they're not as permanent as the linoleum is but um, they work just fine for this application. And you can change the knife, um, the knife pieces out on here. They come with several different um, heads on there, but I like this one the best. It's just easy to use. I'm gonna start dipping down here a little bit more. Make this one even wider. And maybe I'll start going like this. Just messing around. Okay, so this one's almost completed. Now you can um, add your paint to this carving uh, however you'd like. I usually do it with a paintbrush and um, Let's see, let's do it on this shell paper because it's so fabulous. And I'm going to use some of this, um, again, Southern Ocean Blue, love it, can't help it. And all you wanna do is just go ahead and apply your paint right to this. Let's see how this, I need some more paint. That's going to look good. See, those are opposites on the color wheel, orange and blue, red, yummy.
That alone looks pretty cool. <laughs> and uh, right now, I'm not worried about, you know, getting total equal color and all that stuff. I'm just going to make an image on here. OK? So I just put it right here. And on this particular one, I might want to try and keep with the lines of the paper or not. I'm, you know, it doesn't matter really. Make a few impressions with this one, and then I'll show you some of the others that I use quite often. And let's see, sometimes I'll try and switch it up and do the opposite of what I've just done, which is what I'm doing. So it just kind of goes toot toot. Okay, now I'm back to the first way, which is this way. And then sometimes what I'll do, like in this situation, I have a little bit left over here, and I might want to continue that image all the way across. So I'm just going to go ahead and stamp it, and I'm going to catch these others down here. And that'll just be a partial print, but I like that. So I'm going to flip it up because I'm going back this way again. And that way I've hit about five papers underneath too. Okay. Um, now let's do some more on the other papers here. Got that one done. And these colors. Let's try something darker. I'll go back to this. Maybe I'll put a red on there. Primary red. This is Nap Napthal Crimson. Just put some out on your palette. And another brush. These are great brushes, too. The uh, mural brushes, love them. They come in the um, flat like this, and then also the um, filberts and rounds as well. So these are really nice brushes to use. Um, red. I'm going red now. Let's do this one. Love that color red. Wow. That's bright. Sweet. OK. I think it'll look good on this one here. Again, you're just pushing it down. Sometimes you can take that and do like a secondary image. It's not going to be as dark or is complete, but it's kind of nice too in a way, just to give you a little something else to work with. Again, these are just pieces that you're using ultimately for your, or you're making ultimately for your collage. So let's, let's do something crazy. <laughs> so you've got your full image. 100% and then like a toned down shadow effect on there too. Do a couple more of these. Okay. And uh, these are some others that I've made right here. And again, I use the, uh, sometimes I'll carve the back of them too. So I get double duty out of them. But um, if you'd like to know more about this, just check out my DVD, Collage Therapy. Thank you.